Down in Louisiana, where the cypress grows, there lived in the bayou a crawfish named Mo. Hey there, Beb. Mo was the best cook there had been because of his gumbo he made again and again. His gumbo was the best in the land, his own secret recipe he made by hand. Get some good stuff, Beb. Mo never told the recipe. He kept it to himself. He kept it in his crawfish hole on the top of his bookshelf. But one night, as Mo was sleeping in his bed, there came out of the water a green log-like head. It was Al the alligator, and he was looking for some trouble. As quick as a bunny, he went back down, and up came the bubbles. <laughs> Al laughed evilly. I'll steal that crawfish's gumbo recipe. Just y'all wait and see. Al swam all the way to the crawfish hole where he saw Mo a napping, and for miles you could hear the alligator a laughing. <laughs> Al stuck his tail down into the hole and shook it around. At last, he felt the recipe down there in the cold, hard ground. Jackpot! <laughs> Mo woke up from the ruckus and knew what was going on. I'll stop that alligator, said Mo, or my middle name ain't Don. Mo ran all the way to the living room and grabbed his old bear trap and snapped it on Al's tail with a clippity and a clap. Hmm? Ah! Al screamed like dickens at the top of his lungs. Birds flew out of the trees. Al ran around and around and finally fell to his knees. Al dropped the recipe and ran for the shore, screaming like a sissy, as Mo picked up the recipe and gave it a kissy. Al learned a lesson that day, an important one too, to never mess with a crawfish. Or they'll get revenge on you.